My name is Leah Llewellyn, a name that offers clues to my lineage, but few answers to my story. I am an anthropologist and videographer who has been researching and working in Ethiopia for over a decade. Ethiopia is a beautiful, diverse, historical country made up of a rich array of peoples, nations and nationalities, of which the Oromo are one of the largest ethnic groups. Traditionally, the Oromo don't name their children until their eighth birthday, as until then they are believed to float between the earth and God. When I recently asked my husband, Mastrisha, who is Ethiopian, about the meaning of his name, he told me that Mastrisha means to forget. He explained how his mother had lost her first baby girl at birth, leaving her heartbroken and making Mastrisha the eldest surviving child. His sister is called Kasich, which means to replace, followed by his two baby brothers, Agenyo, to love again, and finally Yibatal, to be whole again. Three years ago, I was introduced to the Reach Another Foundation, who aimed to train enough neurosurgeons to operate on all babies born with neurotube defects in Ethiopia as they open up possibilities for families and doctors by taking on the serious challenge of neurotube birth defects. When Reach Another began in 2009, nearly all of these children died because there was no available treatments and only scant support for the mothers and their babies. It is with your support that Reach Another has been able to send experts to towns and cities across Ethiopia to work alongside local specialists, doctors, physiotherapists, teachers, trainers, and concerned parents. In partnership with Ethiopia's first neurosurgeons, Reach Another created the Hydrocephalus Campaign, a program to build neurosurgical capacity by training brain surgeons to provide life-saving surgery for children with spina bifida and water on the brain. To date, we have helped train 25 neurosurgeons and are on track to meet our goal of having operated on 5,000 babies by 2020. My, I took my medical school in gym, at Juma Hospital and there we didn't have any neurosurgeons. So when I saw the patients who needed neurosurgical care, it actually coupled with my interest with uh, the challenge the field uh, provided. It was never dull and in addition to that I could help a lot of people. And uh, the service was not, not even exist, it didn't even exist in southern parts of Ethiopia, southern west of Ethiopia, where I, I actually took my medical school. On practice, most of the support was from Koning and his team, the Chanaza. And uh, without them, I mean, we couldn't even uh, start the spina bifida care here. We couldn't even start the normal neurosurgical care. So they helped a lot. Together, we are making a difference. We now know that most children can survive the surgery. In fact, we are witnessing a paradigm shift from an expectation of near certain death to the possibility of a full and productive life. As of this year, we are expanding to five universities to help them create centers of excellence that provide coordinated, comprehensive, but above all, patient-centered care for our children. Still, much more needs to be done. Today, we focus on the families. We empower them to ask questions, to be assertive for their babies, and to claim their basic human right to life. As in the name, Yi Batal, will you help us make these families whole again? Thank you for your generosity.